Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go, go, go through process states. So basically, we are having five different process states for any particular process. So we can create a process. If it is ready with everything, it will be in the ready state. If it is running already, it will be in running state. If it is waiting for resources, it will be in waiting state. If it's execution completed, it will be exiting or terminating. So initially, so this is the flow chart of it guys okay so initially it will be in a new state after that it comes to ready state as it is created and now it will be in ready state and from ready state once it is ready means it is already having the resources so there is no chance of going to wait state like in few diagrams it is shown like this also so according to me it is no need guys because if it is ready with resources then why it will be going again to waiting state guys after some running it will identify that these are missing and then it will go for waiting state so that's the reason why we have connected in this way running so once it is ready it goes to running state and if then it know it notices that it need a hardware device so it comes to waiting state and if it is ready with the particular device it comes again to ready state and it runs so this is the process and at the end once job is done it's going to exit so new means job admitted exit means job completed so in between we'll be having interrupts from running to ready state so this is event wait and this is also event wait fine okay so a single line description if it is given for three or four marks or if it is given for five marks give a give a detailed explanation about how it happens guys because if it is for five marks you need to elaborate it so new when whenever a new process is created we use this we use this new ready a process is said to be ready when it is ready for execution along with resources running when a process started its execution then it is running state wait the process is waiting in waiting state exit or terminal terminate so process execution is done and it's terminates so once the process of execution is done then the process will be terminated so now i hope everyone got a small idea on process states so in the next tutorial we will be going through pcb it is nothing but process control block so in the next tutorial let us meet thank you thanks for watching